As many schools cut down on art classes and curriculum, there's one local program out there aimed at making sure that children get exposure to art every week. It's called Project Create and it focuses on children living in poverty and homelessness. Dedication to improving those children's futures through art is what makes Project Create this week's Harris's Hero. In Southeast DC's Ward 8, where half of all children there live in poverty or homelessness. Can I have everybody take a big stretch, a stretch up to the ceiling. Project Create provides some of the kids facing these hardships a place to instead focus on using their imaginations. So when I come down here, I feel good because I can enjoy, express myself. Every week, the kids meet for 90 minutes to dance. Your hips are going to wiggle. Create artwork. Do finger print painting and take pictures and stuff. And act. Let me see a leopard face on everybody. They also go out on field trips to art museums and plays, and they learn life skills along the way. At-risk youth exposed to high-quality arts education have greater success in academics and future employability. The program is free and available every week at eight locations in the city. If you add like another rectangle beneath it. The students say that Project Create gives them time to unwind. It's fun. It allows you to do smart things while being while being creative and showing what you know. I feel like when I come here, it's like if something bad happened earlier, when I come here, I forget about it and I'm laughing and talking again. And for Tavon Gay, it's helped him discover his calling to be an artist. I'm going to have big old posters and pictures and billboards and stuff in museums. All right, Tavon, make that dream come true. If you want to nominate a person or a program to be featured as a Harris's Hero, just go to WJLA.com and click on Harris's Heroes there and we'll check it out. Allison? They're having a lot of fun there, Leon. Thank you.